Serena from Photography Space and today's video we're going to be showing you how to shoot in internal, um, internal aspects of a property either for sale or for rent using your smartphone. I, uh, for the smartphone it's not like you have a DSLR camera or a bigger camera that may have its own um, flash or light source. So we, I'm going to demonstrate some of the light sources that uh, may be suitable for lighting up a room. What you're trying to do is balance the internal and external light. Today we have a, um, the outside is, is quite neutral, it's quite an overcast day which makes it easier if, if you're shooting in this sort of conditions. But if the light is very bright and contrasty and you're shooting during the day, you're going to have, have some external light sources to balance that so you'll be able to see both inside and outside the room. So what I've got here are some cheap and cheery ideas um, and it's really up to you as to what you want to use. We first of all have a, a very cheap $10 light probably from Ikea or something like that. That needs to be plugged in. Um, the alternative is these are fantastic. These are just from, um, from Bunnings or your hardware store. These are battery powered. Um, give out a, a 1400 um, luminance watt wattage so very bright for bright up the room and they also can be hung so you can use them to hang up here and light up the the room from behind there's also another one from a hardware store which are also uh, also can be plugged in but that's so that's a really a disadvantage you better to have something that's battery powered rather than chopping and changing from room to room and finding um light uh finding power points um Finally, there is the big sort of painters ones here. They pop, pop out a, a large amount of light um, and they can really light up a very dark room or a very big room as well. So all these light sources you want to have behind you when you're shooting and pumping light into the room. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about what equipment you need other than lighting uh, for smartphone photography, for real estate and uh, proper real estate properties. Um, so we, what you need is a sturdy tripod. We like the Manfrotto, good Italian tripod. Um, this is a Manfrotto B3, um, about $190, $200 um, Australian dollars, but it's a really nice sturdy tripod. You also definitely need a ball head. It will make your job much quicker and by be able to, to turn the head rather than have to deal with three different levers at the one time. So definitely a ball head. Um, and the third thing you need is, an, um, we have a Manfrotto. It connects the, um, the, the phone to your tripod. It also has a metal base plate, so it's nice and handy, nice and sturdy rather. Um, but you also need a tripod where you can adjust the legs um, easily. So we like these ones that really just clip out and in very quickly and easily. Avoid the ones with the screw um, lever on them because they just take time. So this needs to be able to go quite high and quite low as well for the shots down that you're doing say in a bathroom where you're trying to avoid the mirrors but also for your external shots where you need some height. The other thing that is essential for shooting this sort of uh, photography is to have a wide angle lens. The lens in this camera is not wide enough. So we recommend something like um, the Moment lens. This is a good quality um, American lens and it clips, clips onto your iPhone and it's amazing what a difference it makes in the, in the amount that you can fit into the image, into the photo. So what happens is it just clips literally onto the back of your phone. Some of them have different sort of cases that you can use. 